To say Unity messed up is an understatement. Let's go and talk about Unity's ridiculous runtime fee schedule. Paying per install, are you kidding me? Like this is the first time I've heard about a company doing this. In order to make the revenue threshold to be eligible for Unity to charge per install, you're gonna have to have a revenue of over 200,000 USD in the last year and have 200,000 installs. You have to have both of these categories in order to be eligible. Once you are eligible, Unity is going to be charging per install and it changes depending on what tier of Unity you have. Now, one thing that is not clear is this per account or per product that's made. Unity is very vague with all this and it's all very confusing, which is leading to people being even more angry. At this moment, it's not gonna affect me as a solo dev so much, but medium to small indie devs are gonna be absolutely screwed by this. They operate on such thin margins that this is going to absolutely screw their bottom line. It's gonna be very challenging to be sustainable over time. Unity is also getting rid of Unity Plus to being retired and you will only have personal Unity Pro and Unity Enterprise moving forward. Now a big question that everyone has is how is Unity going to track these installs? And they say it's all proprietary uh, software and they're not releasing how they're gonna do this. So they're using the classic trust me bro element. And this trust me bro element is putting off gamers and developers alike because we don't know exactly how Unity is going to track this, which leads to exploitation. Let's say people are going to constantly download and uninstall and re-download a game over and over again. Will the uh, game dev team have to pay per download in that case? Like we are just so kept in the dark. This is scary for people who both make games in Unity and players as well. Another thing too is that if I make a game that was released prior to the new year, am I going to be charged? Let's say I'm using an older Unity engine. How are they going to track this? Do they have embedded software somewhere hidden inside of the uh, gaming engine that was like, I, I just don't understand how they're going to keep track of all this. Plenty of studios have already made statements about Unity's move and they are not happy. Also, this is going to be a huge migration time where people are gonna go to other engines, including Unreal. This is the death of Unity in so many ways. Unity has already, in like speed run record time, had to backtrack things that they have already said. So they're not gonna be charging demos, free to play games and other things, but this is something they had to clarify and sort of like backtrack. There's a lot of people that are saying, you know what, I'm gonna finish a game that I'm working in Unity right now, but moving forward, we will no longer use Unity. This is the future, this is the reality of it. I'm already looking into using Unreal for my future projects. Unity also has said, that they're not going to be charging the installs in bundles like Humble Bundle and other things. But again, I'm still skeptical. This is just the beginning. Unity is going to slowly start making monetization features that are going to benefit them and not anyone else. It's very scary times we're looking at if you continue to use Unity. That's why I'm thinking, do I make the move now or do I wait till later? When do I rip the bandaid off is the situation I'm in right now. It's statements like this that are also freaking me out because if I make a game in Unity, will the player base be less likely to buy my game because it was made in that engine and the players are mad at Unity? So this is something to consider as well. Unity is punishing you for success. That is clearly what is going on and they are being greedy about this whole situation. What is also ridiculous about this is when asked how they're gonna manage piracy, they say, oh, we have fraud detection practices. Okay, how legit is that going to actually work? Because it is almost impossible to stop piracy. And are the developers going to be charged for piracy? This is just absolutely crazy. The question is, is this actually going to stick? Will Unity double down and let this ride? Or are they going to backtrack everything? I hope they backtrack everything. Videos like this need to be made clarifying that we do not appreciate this. We do not like what is happening with Unity. I personally have loved the game engine for years, but it's been very difficult to enjoy it in its current state. Let me know what you guys think about this whole ridiculous situation in the comments down below. And thank you very much for watching.